Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome everybody from TikTok. I see you already on fire for Jesus this morning. Good morning, everybody who's tuning in from Facebook and on YouTube. Everybody from Fortune and Online, thank you so much for waking up this morning and making sure that we are about to embark on our day 10. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can we just begin to thank God as you are coming in, sign in and let me know where you're tuning in from, which country are you tuning in from? Uh, which state or which province. If you are in South Africa, let me know. I'm from Pretoria, South Africa. However you are tuning in from, may I please ask you to also invite somebody to the broadcast, invite and share the light and, and share and tap on the screen for the likes so that we get more feet in at this morning. Hallelujah. Today is a fire day. Today is day 10. We are going all the way to day 31. We are still embarking on our 31 days of grace and favor. This morning, I want you to tell Type in that comment section, the help of God, just as soon as you have already, hallelujah. Hey, Miss M, hallelujah. Make sure you are telling me where you are tuning in from. And when you're done with that, I want you to type in the comment section, the help of God. There is something called the help of God that we are talking about this morning. Let me make sure that my volume levels are fine. Everybody can hear me from wherever you're tuning in from. Thank you so much. I see Facebook is streaming in. YouTube is streaming in. We are ready to get on with our prayers this morning. This is the protocol breaking prayers session, our one hour of protocol breaking prayers. Let us see what the Lord will do for us this morning. Somebody type in the comment section, the help of God, the help of God. I'm fired up this morning. I'm ready to go. Everybody on my left, everybody on my right, are you ready? Ready on my left, ready on YouTube, ready on Facebook, ready on TikTok. Make sure you are clicking and uh, following the host wherever you are tuning in from, whatever platform, make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure that you turn on every single notification bell so that you don't miss us when we go live. Gadesinho, Gadencio from South Africa. Madenso, <laughs> you've got two names. The help of God is here for you, God Madenso. Hallelujah. 316 Life, the help help of God is here. Apostle Racham, thank you so much for following the host. Mr. Brown, thank you so much for tuning in. Candy, I see you. Ryan, the Lord is ready to send his help on your way, on your direction this morning. We are going to talk about the help of God. Not only do we talk about the help of God, we meditate on the word of God. We pray about the word of God. We decree and we decree, declare the word of God. So get ready with me. I kick off this morning. There is a psalm that has been exciting me. There is a psalm one, two, one. It has been exciting me. Make a note of it. Make sure you go and read it and just soak yourself in it. Can I just read it for you for your benefit this morning? Psalm 121. It is an awesome psalm. I'm sure when you are reading it, something is going to leap in your spirit. Your baby is going to leap. Guys, I'm excited. We are on day 10. I'm excited. The testimonies are going goo, 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 goo. I am excited. You receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive the help of God. Palace are chosen, Masego. Receive the help of God as you type it in that comment section. We are ready to go. The help of God is sufficient. I'm checking my surrounding to make sure that there is nothing branded that will make our views to throttle today. Today we are fired up. Amen. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills of Jerusalem where the help comes from. Somebody is saying I'm in South Africa. Somebody is saying I'm in Nigeria. Somebody is saying I am in America. I will will lift up my eyes to the hills of America, South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, wherever I'm tuning in from, from where my help is coming from today. My help is not coming from my neighbor. I'm not going to tell you, touch your neighbor and tell them my help is coming from you. Tell them my help comes from the Lord. Wherever you are, the environment there, wherever you are situated, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I don't know what your God has done, but my God has done heaven and earth. He He's the creator of all things. He's the creator of everything beautiful in my life. He's the creator of the one who blessed my neighbor and I know he's going to bless me as well. He's the one who makes me not to envy anybody because I know my time and season has come. This is the day that the Lord has made for my help of God to come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sunday. 
He says, uh, he will not allow your foot to slip. That means God is going to give you stability. Hallelujah. He is not going to allow you to lose your foot. He's saying, I'm not going to make you lose your place. I will not allow you, but I will keep you and I will not slumber. I don't sleep on the job. I don't take days off. I am always on the job 24-7. There are no leave days for me. I don't need a medical aid. I don't need an insurance policy. I am the God who never sleeps nor slumbers. I am there to make sure somebody type in that comment section, my help comes from the Lord or the help of God. The help of God is here this morning. The Bible says, behold, he who keeps Israel will never, never, never sleep or slumber. If he kept Israel, he is going to keep fire. If he kept Israel, he's going to keep fortune. If he kept Israel, he's going to keep you vavuti. Hallelujah, somebody. He says, this is the Lord, your keeper. The Lord is your shade in your right hand. I may not have the shades of Louis Vuitton, but I have the shade of God. I rest in the shade of God. He makes sure that the sun does not scorch me. He makes sure that I keep on shining even when they look at me. They cannot tell that I'm going through. Am I talking to you this morning? My help comes from the Lord. Talk to me, somebody. He says the sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. You have the shelter that you require. He says the Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep you from whatever evil that is facing your life. The Lord will guard your going in and your coming out. Everything that you do from today forth it is guarded. It is protected forever. Somebody shout a believing amen. Somebody shout that believing amen. What is the help of God, children of God? The help of God is, 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 is the, the secret to stability that you need. The stability to your life and the stability to your destiny. How important is the help of God? Keep on typing in the comment section. The help of God. The help of God has come this morning. The secret to stability to your life and destiny. He he says, I'm the immovable, immov the immovable life and destiny that you are believing God for is called the help of God. Somebody type the help of God. Kaba, you are helped by God. Kaba, you are helped by God. Ovi, you are helped by God. Door 19, you are helped by God. Kasha Katakadia, as you shouted, Busha, that you are helped by God. See the speed of the help of God coming your way this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. What is the help of God? The help of of God is the thing that tells you when others are shaken, you cannot be shaken. Where economies are going into recession, you are not receding. You are helped by God. When industries are failing and people are closing down businesses, you will not be shaken because you are helped by God. Talk to me, somebody. It is the secret to your stability. It is the secret to your immovable. Tell your neighbor, I'm immovable. I'm immovable. I'm the stone that cannot be moved. The help of God is available. When others say there is a casting down. I will say there is a lifting up. Talk to me. I am not determined by economies. I am not determined by industries. I am not determined by the news, the journalists, whatever they are saying. Talk to me. Tell somebody I am stable, neighbor. You are talking to somebody who is stable, who is held by God. I am stable. I am held by God. I am stable. I am not shaking. I am held by God. I am not schizophrenic. I am held by God. I am not confused. I am held by God. Do you understand that you are helped by God. Everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice, if you stumbled on this broadcast by error, you have no choice but to be helped by God. You stumbled on fire this morning. You stumbled on a protocol breaking prayer. You stumbled on a protocol breaking servant of the living God. I rise this morning to declare and decree that you are stable. Hallelujah. You are divinely preserved. You are divinely protected by God. Somebody shouted in the comment section as you shouted out louder and you type that amen well, you know that you are helped by God. Divine preservation and, and divine protection is your portion. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in Psalm 1 to 1 that I am not affected by the weather. Whether it's cold, whether it's hot, the sun will not scorch me. Talk to me. Somebody shout in the comment section, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help this morning. In these 31 days of grace and favor, Lord, I need your help. Hallelujah. I apply for your help today, oh God. I will not waste my time fearing uh, a man. I will not waste my time fearing evil because I know I'm helped by God. When I'm helped by God, no witch can touch me. When I'm helped by God, no wickedness can touch me. When I'm helped by God, no evil man, I don't care how high they say you are in the spirit of evil or you are a principality. I am a principality myself. Somebody needs to tell the devil 
devil. The principality that is held by God is alive this morning. I woke up this morning knowing that I'm the Lion of Judah. I woke up this morning know that I'm helped by the Lion of Judah. I woke up this morning that I know that I am helped by God. You came to this broadcast because you know you are helped by God. Talk to me somebody. Lord, I need your help. Hebrews 4, 16, he says, therefore let us by faith, by privilege, we approach the throne of grace. That is the throne of the gracious favor. Where we are obtaining grace and favor, we are coming with boldness. We don't come shaken. We come knowing that we are helped by God. We've got our swag on. Even our walk tells us that we are helped by God. I'm helped by the grace of God. I have the confidence without fear. I don't shake. I move confidently that I may receive mercy in my failures. I know I have failed. I know that I'm not a perfect Christian. I know that I have fallen, but in my failures, the mercy of God has spoken for me. The mercy has put me on grace's door. He says, I will find amazing grace to help me in the time of need. Am I talking to believers who can see the grace of God that is coming in the time of need, who has come to, to receive the help of God in the time of need? Oh, Shakaria, I feel this thing. I hope I will get to the point where I'm even starting to pray, but the word of God is already taking me. Oh, the appropriate blessing that you have been waiting for. You know, sometimes you can be believing for God for money and you ask people and you tell people, I need the help of God. And they want to give you a word at that point. But you know that what you actually really need is money. Hallelujah. Today I am saying the Lord is releasing the help that you need. Not a confused or, or, or a generalistic help, but the help you need. I need a job, God. I am tired of hearing stories. I'm tired of being pampered. I am just declaring the word of God. I need a job. I just, you know, don't, don't just sweet talk God and say, oh God, I just want to. Some people will say, oh God, I want to just the, the wisdom. You want to mimic Solomon. No, no, no. Tell God what you really need. Somebody type in that comment section. I have the help of God. Hallelujah. It is coming at the right moment. The people who are helped by God are people who are shielded from a shameful life. There is somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice today who is saying, oh God, I need your help. I don't want to be ashamed. I want to feed my family. I want to protect my family. I want to have a house of my own. I want to have a child of my own. I have been ashamed long enough. I need the help of God. Simwe, receive the help of God in the area that you have asked for this morning. Father, Alfio, receive your work permit and your student permit. I don't know which one you want. You need to be specific. Ask God for the specific. This morning we are asking the help of God. God. Hallelujah. Mm. Somebody is saying, Pastor Fortune, I'm battling to feed my family. Pastor Fortune, my children are in distress because they don't know where the next food or the next meal is going to come from. Pastor Fortune, I can't feed my family. I fear shame. I'm fearing that people that I went to school with, they're going to look at me and laugh at me and say I amounted to nothing. My husband made a mockery of me. They walked out on me. People are looking at me and are laughing at me. Lord, wipe away my shame. Shame. The Lord will help you this morning. I'm here to tell you that you cannot be confounded. You cannot be confused because when the God of help steps in, he is going to bring solution. He is going to tell you what to do. He is going to open up your mind. Talk to me, somebody. Isaiah 50 verse 7 says, For the Lord God helps me, therefore I am not ashamed. We are standing on the word of God. I don't have anything else to give you but the word of God. For the Lord of God, the Lord your God will help you and remove you from shame. That is what scripture tells me. Father, this morning we are standing on Isaiah 50 verse 7. We are declaring and we are decreeing that we shall not be ashamed. We shall not be humiliated. I know we will not be ashamed and we will not be humiliated. In the name of Jesus, somebody type it in the comment section. I shall not be put to shame. I shall not be put to shame. What is this help from God that we are coming to this morning? Is the type of help that shields us from confusion. It is the type of help that comes and, and shields us from perplexity. We are not wandering souls. We are not vagabonds. We are not wandering hobos. We have the help of God. Tell your neighbor there is a way out. There is a way out. Are you tapping on that screen? Are you sh making sure that we are depopulating hell? Are you making sure that we are populating heaven with this word this morning? I rose with the help of God. Don't let the help of God go in vain. Talk to me somebody. The help of 
of God is the victory that you need in every battle that you are facing, child of God. He told me to tell you that the victory you need in the battle that you are facing is the help. And I'm saying my help is available. You have the help of God. You cannot lose any battle that you fight. And for as long as you know that the help of God is there, you will not lose this battle. Somebody type the help of God. Type the help of God. I have the help of God. I have the help of God. Those who contend with me will be like a moth. This is what your maker, your creator says. If you contend with my sons and daughters, you will be like moth. Isaiah 50 verse 8 to 9, he says, He who declares me in the right is near. Who will dare to contend with me? Look at what the prophecy is saying. Who will dare to contend with me? Let us stand up to each other. Who is my adversary? Who is my adversary? Sometimes you need to wake up like a lion angry. When you have woken up from a nightmare, you have seen enough. When you have had enough, you say, who is my adversary? Who is the one who wants to contend with me? Show yourself. You are going to be destroyed like moth. Come on, somebody. Who is my adversary? Who is the one who wants to approach me? In fact, the Lord God helps. This is what scripture says. Isaiah 50 verse 8 says, the Lord God helps. The one who says, I have an adversary. The one who says, there's somebody who wants to contend with me. You say, God, you said you help those who have adversaries. You said you help those who are contending with me. Talk to me, somebody. He who condemns me as guilty. Who is that person? God, deal with that person who's condemning me. Deal with my contenders. Those who gossip about me. Those who are trying to put me in sabotage. Those who are trying to make me lose my job. Who is that person? They will not listen there is a type of wrath when God steps in when the help of God steps in sometimes you will end up feeling sorry for your own enemies hallelujah but because God comes and finishes them completely you will cry some people have died because they touched the Lord's anointed I have seen it in my life Oh, I have the help of God. Somebody type that comment section. I have the help of God. Ah, uh, I will well, you need to, you, you know, as, as you put on your best suit and you are putting your best garment of praise, the, the, this morning I want you to put on the garment of the help of God. I have the help of God. The moth will eat them. The moth will eat them because I'm wearing the garment of the help of God. Who is this helper? Who is this help? What is this help of God? It is the answer that you need at the right time at the right place. You have the help of God. You have the answer that you need. Talk to me, somebody. Your greatest asset in the time of need is the help of God. Your greatest asset in the time of need, the help that somebody is, is needing this morning, the help of God is your secret to continuity. Talk to me, somebody. It is your secret to continue. To, to, what are you continuing, Fortune? You are continuing your life and destiny. You are making sure that it's going to come to pass. It's going to happen. It is your secret to the life of continuity. You people are typing slower than I'm preaching. I don't know where your mindset is. Come on, keep on tapping. Keep on saying that amen louder. Shout that amen well. I need the help of God. You're you need the help of God. Make sure you are typing. You, you need to lose your mind when you... I don't know if you've had enough of not getting help. I, men will not help you. Today, you need the help of God. Talk to me. Satan cannot see your end. You must determine in your mind that devil, you will not see my end. I will see your end. Your enemies must see your end. You must not end. It is not the end of me. It is the end of my enemies. Sickness will not see your end. I decree it and I declare it by this action that I'm speaking under this morning. I decree and I declare cancer will not see your end. Diabetes shall not see your end. Sugar diabetes shall not see your end. High blood pressure shall not see your end. Fibroids shall not see your end. Sarcoidosis will not see your end. Lupus will not see your end. Are you typing that amen well? I have left you if you're not coming with me. I'm, I, I'm ascending now. The help of God breaks all protocols for me. Liver disease, you cannot see my end. You cannot see my end. Heart disease, you cannot see my end. Oh, I don't know what they've called your own. Your enemies will see your end, but you will not end. In the mighty name of Jesus, ah, I will continue because I have seen the help of God. I am stable. I'm protected. I am shielded from confusion. I'm shielded from 
from the life of fame. I am the, I have the greatest asset that I need in the time of need. I have the answers that I need to proceed forward. Oh, Rabbi Shikonda, somebody type it again. Ah, I have the help of God. I have the help from God to this day. I stand before people. I testify of the small and the big things that he has done for my life. I, I, I nothing except everything. You don't need the help of Oshakatakaria. Let me put this in context because I don't want to fall into trouble. There comes a season in your life. You don't need the help of men. You can't rely on the help of your pastor. You can't rely on the help of your prophet. You need the help of God. Do you understand that? My only assignment is to tell you that there is a God that wants to help you this morning. That is the assignment I came with. Hey, today you will celebrate the help of God. I have the help of God. When you are typing it, you are saying, I celebrate it. I have the help of God. Samuel took a nursing lamb and offered it to the whole bed offering to God. Hallelujah. Samuel was offering a bed offering. The Philistines approached for the battle against Israel. The Lord thundered with a great voice. This I'm on 1 Samuel chapter 7 for those who are making notes. 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 9 to 12. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 9 to 12. The Bible tells us that they were coming for the children of Israel, but someone decided to make an offering. What is it that thing that you will offer? What is that sacrifice that you will offer to make sure you release the hand of God, the help of God to win that battle? The Bible says that as Samuel was offering the, the, the bench for offering, the Philistines approached for the battle against Israel. The Lord thundered with a great voice that day against the Philistines and threw them into confusion, and they were defeated before Israel. Those who have been approaching you, to fight you, to bring you down, to sabotage you YouTube, to sabotage you Facebook. The Lord is sending me. You see how loud I'm shouting? I am shouting. I don't even care what my neighbors are saying this, this morning. I am thundering the voice from heaven that I have sent help. I am sending confusion in the side of the enemy. They will be confused. They will fight themselves. They will be destroyed, utterly destroyed. The Bible says the men of Israel came back from Mitzvah and they came out of Mitzvah. They they pursued the Philistines. They struck them down. Listen, when you see the devil fighting you, don't renege. Don't go back. We are not receding here. We are saying, come. I'm going to turn you into moth right now. Come, bring it on, Satan. I'm going to deal with you. Proceed without any consequence. I'm going to trample over you. I'm going to destroy you. I'm coming out of my mitzvah. I'm pursuing every uncircumcised Philistine. I'm pursuing every uncircumcised Goliath. You have to come down. If somebody has to end in this battle, it will be me that will be left standing. You will end. I will not end. I am not tired. I will never be tired to fight for my destiny. I will never be tired to fight for my children's destiny. I will never be tired to make sure that I live and you die, Satan. I will live and not die to proclaim the works of God in my life, that God has come through. The help of God has been seen in my life. Somebody type a believing amen. Somebody type that thundering amen. I don't know why you woke up. Listen, do not scroll out of this broadcast. Stay here. I'm not done yet because I have to carry out my assignment. You will receive the help of God by fire, by force. Samuel took a stone and set it in Mitzpah. Between Mitzvah and Shem, he said, Ebenezer, the stone of help, saying, Thus far has the Lord helped us. I'm telling you, you will not rest until you declare your own Ebenezer this morning. Declare your Ebenezer this morning. Type it in the comment section. Hey, technical crew, help me type that Ebenezer so I don't want them to misspell it. Ebenezer, my Ebenezer has come. My Ebenezer, I've reached my Ebenezer. My help has come. I have seen that the, 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 the soothsayers cannot help me. The Sangomas did not help me. The, anybody who is said, they are sending the luck potions, they cannot help me. It is the help of God that can help me right now. The help of God is your greatest asset, child of God. The help of God will ensure that you are not vulnerable to the forces of evil around the earth. The help of God has come for you. Hallelujah. The help of God is superior to any help that you will get. You can try and rely on the help of your family relatives. You can try and rely on the help of your friends, of your boyfriend, your husband, your wife. But there is a help that stands above other helps. There is a help that is above. There is a help that does not subscribe to the welfare of the earth. There is a help that does not depend on Sasa or any social grant in any government that they will help you. There is a help that is not dependent on the handouts, but there is a help that comes from heaven that is sure and certain and that will progress you to your next level, that will not keep you in the state that you're in. There is a help of God that is reliable above the help of men. Talk to me, somebody. 
God is your refuge this morning. God is your strength. He says, I am mighty and I'm impenetrable. In the book of Psalm 46, he says, I'm a mighty God. I, impen I am not penetrable. I am not going to be influenced and manipulated not to help you. I have the help that you need. I'm the mighty God. I am here to help you. Every present well-proved help that is in whenever you are in trouble, I am present and I am able to deliver. Where surgeons fail, where medicine fails, where science failed. Did you not see that science failed in COVID times? Did you not see how many times have we been proven that these people, yes, they are gifted. God gave God as doctors, but sometimes they fail and the help of God does not fail. Talk to me, somebody. Type that amen well. Type that help is here. The help is here. I have the help of God. Talk to me. Hallelujah. It is normal. Men can fail. Men can change. Systems can change. Governments change. It is true. But the help of God is reliable. How am I doing for time? I'm still good. I will break all protocols in the name of Jesus. I'm breaking all protocols because I have the help of God. I'm moving in the speed of grace and in the speed of favor because I have the help of God. Mercy has spoken for me. Mercy has delivered me from the sins that I committed. Mercy has spoken for me. I don't care who knows me from my past. I don't care who knows what I did. I don't care whether you have killed somebody. I don't care whether you committed an abortion. I don't care whether you fornicated and you actually woke up from a fornication bed this morning. I am here to tell you that the help of God is there for you. For as long as you know you are a child of God, let the Holy Spirit convict you and let the Holy Spirit launch you out into the next destination where you are going. Somebody shout, I have the help of God. God, 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 help me. I'm applying. I know that this is a durable type of help. The type of help that does not tear easily. The type of help that is not fickle. Talk to me, somebody. I am the Lord. I do not change. I am not. I'm the Lord. I do not change. The book of Micah, the prophet Micah says, he is the God that does not change. I'm the unchangeable God. I am still here for you. My covenant with you is established and I honor my covenant. I don't come out of contracts. I don't breach contracts. Talk to me, somebody. If he, if he did it for Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, he will do it for you. I am the God who is there for you. Hallelujah. The Lord will bring you comfort. The help of God will make sure that you are living the soft life. Even when they look at you and they're saying that life is looking tough for you, you have nothing, you don't have a car, you are walking, blah, 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 blah. The Lord saying that you, it will look like you are having a soft life. When they look at you, child of God, when you go out this morning, make sure you doll yourself up, dress well. Even if you have that one shirt you've been wearing for the whole month, wash it and put it on and look nice and iron. They, you must not look like whatever it is that you are going through. You must look like the help of God that is help coming. Oh, Shakaria. Oh, Karabasonda. If anybody has the answer and anybody who has the knowledge that I need, it is the help of God. It is God who knows the answer. He's more knowledgeable than men. There is no advice that can come from anybody that passes or, or uh, the, the advice of God. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. He says, I am the God who will supply you liberally. I will supply you all your needs. I will supply you all your needs from my riches and glory. I am a rich God. I'm a loaded God. I have everything that you need. Arabasonda. He is rich enough. He is affluent enough. He's the connection that you need. He's the name that you need to drop. The name that you need to drop is the name of God. He says, I am affluent. I am known in places. When you mention my name, doors open. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. You can be comfortable. Rest enough in the help of God. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody, are you ready to pray? We are ready to pray. Now unto the king of ages, the king eternal, now unto the king immortal, and now unto the king invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever in Jesus' mighty name. He's the only God that deserves the glory. He's the only God that deserves the honor. That is why he shut the door to that person that you were looking for. He says, for as long as you are looking at men, you are not ready for my help. Somebody shout that amen well. I declare and I decree that every victory in battle has been won. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will deliver you from death this morning. The Lord will deliver you from death this year. The Lord will deliver your family from death in this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is the help that he is responsible for. He is responsible to make sure that you are preserved. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever has swallowed others will not swallow 
follow you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever people, wherever others crumble, you will stand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever killed others, it will not kill you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give, give you escape from a life of shame. I am here, I'm re reiterating it again. He says, I'm the Lord that helps you. The Lord that helps. The Lord that breaks protocols. He's saying you will escape the life of shame. If you believe it, shout that amen well. Shout that amen well. Hallelujah. He says, I am the God who of help. I am responsible for persistence and continuity in your life. You will make it. You will make it. You will keep moving despite every resistance that you are, you are facing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you Holy Spirit that we will continue moving. We will not be stopped by any form of resistance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will survive in adverse times where others have failed. We will survive in any weathering storm. You will weather the storm you are going through. If it is a hurricane, I don't know what they call it in weather terms, but there is a God that is a God of all weathers. There is a God. Protocol breaker. Shakora by who is the God that is going to answer you this morning? Before I ask you to put your prayer request on the screen just now, he is the God who says, I will give you that thing and you can maintain my help for as long as you are prayerful. You see the fact that you sacrificed at 5 a.m. Do you know what is the time? Others are sleeping. Others are busy rolling on their bed. But the protocol breaking prayer a warrior, the one who rose up this morning, who said, I will be prayerful. I will come and do my spiritual warfare. I will take my goods. I will receive the help of God. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. He says, you attain these things through by your prayerfulness. He says, if you say to me, you are helpless. The problem with the other people says is that when they, they are helpless, they don't know how to say it. They think they can still do it. God says, I'm looking for a person without a plan B. The one who will say, I am helpless. If you don't do it, I don't know who's going to help me. If you don't show up for me, God, I'm here to pray. I'm here to war in the spirit because if you don't help me, I'm here to look to you. I'm not looking at any man. I'm looking away from men. I'm looking to you, God. All, all, all. I'm looking at away from all things but God. Somebody, I say, I'm looking at you, God. Tell him, I'm looking at you wherever you are. Say it with your mouth. I'm looking at the all-sufficient God. Hallelujah. And when I look at the all-sufficient God, the Bible tells me in Psalm 334, he says that my face will shine and will be radiant. Hallelujah. I will not be put in shame and I will not be put in confusion. Hallelujah. I will not look at government. I will not look at relatives. I will not look at my certificates. I will not look at my pastor. I will not look at my connections. I will not look at my boyfriend. I will not, I, if, as long as you are still looking at those people, you don't that you are looking at God. This morning, I want you to declare and decree. I am looking at you, God. I am looking at you, God. I receive the help of God this morning. I will never share the glory of God with anybody. I'm a pastor. I'm a servant of God. But I know that I know that I know anything that he will do in your life. Give glory to God. Hallelujah. He's saying, give glory to me. I will show up and show off for you. Karaba Sonda. I want you to congratulate your neighbor and say, welcome to your season of help. Type it in the comment section now. Tell your neighbor, welcome to your season of help. Welcome to your season of help. We are going to thank God now. We are going to thank God. Whatever it is that he puts in your heart to sacrifice, you sacrifice and you thank him enough. Hallelujah. God will help you. The Bible says in 1 Chronicles chapter 15 verse 26, it says because God was helping the Levites who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to do it carefully and safely, they sacrificed seven bulls and seven rams. You need to do the sacrifices that you need to do. You need to help. Yesterday, I can't remember if it was yesterday or day before, I told you, look after the poor. Look after the, the, the word of the church of God in your community. Look after those people. If you identify with the ministry that is helping you, that is helping you spiritually grow, connect with them. You don't just connect with them and pray for them, but connect with the financial sacrifices. Connect with your time, your time sacrifices. Show up. Stop sitting in your house and saying, I am just looking after 
after myself and my children. No, go out and do the work of God. The, the harvest is plenty. The, the, the workers are less. God needs people in the field. I need you. I need you to continue what I'm doing. I need your encouragement. My ministry needs you. Your pastor needs you. Your, your community. There are people who are poor in your community. Yes, this the fact that you at least have data. There's somebody who does not have data. Are we communicating saints? There's somebody who slept without eating. There's somebody who woke up this morning. They still don't know what they're going to eat. Help somebody. Help somebody and see God show up for you. I have the help of God. I don't shake because I know God will help, will send helpers of destiny. God will send us ministry uh, partners. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is time for you to take spiritual stock. What has God done for you? What can you do for God? What can you do for others? Talk to me, somebody. Look at what the Lord has done. I can hear my voice has broken. I wanted to sing your song, but let me spare you for today. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? Oh, Jesus. Somebody's about to sing that song. Are you ready to pray? Tell your neighbor. Ready on my left. Ready on my right. I have the help of God. Father, thank you for this word that has gone forth to you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to everybody at the sound of my voice right now. Now. This morning, Lord, we give you all the glory. We say, take all the glory of God. Thank you for the help that you have sent us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we will finish well. We will not time out. Lord, thank you for helping us. Thank you for the grace to finish. Thank you, Lord, for the help to finish. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that every remaining battle shall be overwhelmed and it shall be overpowered by the help of God. I want you to type those amens very well. If you are not typing amen, you are tapping on that screen and liking. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I don't care how many amens you need to do, but you need to do them. It is your help that you need. Hallelujah. Rebe Shikonda Diamasanda. Father, I declare and I decree that every single battle that is facing us right now. Lord, it shall be overwhelmed in the name of Jesus. Every single battle shall be overpowered by the help of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my request, my prayer request, my whatever I'm believing God for, whatever my children are believing God for, I declare in the name of Jesus, it is coming to pass. I have the conviction that something positively drastic is about to happen in my life. Something that is the positive help of God. I am a candidate for positive testimonies this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I am a candidate for dramatic, dimensional, drastic happenings. Can I declare and prophesy as I hear it? The Lord says in the next five days, he is releasing a dimension of drastic miracles, a dimension of drastic testimonies that are positive in a dimension that even you yourself, you will know that the Lord has done. You will know that this is the wonders of God. Who is taking that prophecy? In the next five days, the help of God shall manifest. Mm. Within the next few days, the prophetic word that has been released this morning, what you have declared this morning shall be fulfilled in excess in your life. It will not be fulfilled small, small, but it will be fulfilled in excess in the name of Jesus. Those that have been cal cal calculating your shame, those that have been calculating your reproach, those that who have been saying you will amount to nothing, by the help of God, they will never find it in the name of Jesus. They will never find reproach in your sight. They will never find you going down. I shall not go down. I have the help of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there will be clarity and direction in your life. In the name of Jesus, within the next few five days, the Lord will show you his, his hand. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will give you his help. Every liability, every infirmity, everything that is not meant to enter your body, everything that is not meant to enter your your May month of 31 days of grace and favor. Everything that is not meant to enter your 2023, it shall not enter in the mighty name of Jesus. Between now and the next five days, talk to me somebody, I eliminate anything that is not supposed to enter your life. It is eliminated in the name of Jesus. It is deleted from your life in the name of Jesus. Any evil, wherever you are rising from, from whatever altar you are rising from, protocols are being suspended. Protocols are being broken to make sure that those things are deleted. 
like every evil, wherever you are coming from, everybody wishing me bad, you are deleted, you are annihilated, you are obliterated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I wish you could type that amen well. In this month of May and the remaining months of this month, of the year of 2023, this will be the best year of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for as long as you stand and you intercede and you pray and you give him thanks and you give him your sacrifices, in the mighty name of Jesus, you don't stop worrying. You continue to let the devil know, I am the lion. I am a descendant of the lion of Judah. I roar, devil, come out. By the power of the blood of Jesus, we are breaking protocols. By the power of the blood of Jesus, I decree that you will have finishing help. You will have grace to finish that project. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you have the power to finish anything that you have started in the mighty name of Jesus. Help is on the way for you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every expectation shall be fulfilled. For as long as it is a positive door, a positive expectation, it shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Help is on the way. Tell your neighbor, help is on the way. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. TikTok, help is on the way. Mara official, help is on the way. Fortune L online, help is on the way. YouTube, help is on the way. Facebook, help is on the way. I prophesy today, everything that needs to speak in your favor shall speak in the name of Jesus. Everything that needs to speak in your favor shall speak in your favor. In the name of Jesus, you will produce more results, more results than you ever saw at the beginning of this year. From today, in the next five days, going forth into 2023, more results, oh God, more results, oh God, more results, oh God. We are exploding on every side. We will produce more favor, more favor, more favor, more results, expedient results, accelerated results, exponential results. We are moving with compounded results. The results are compounded. Let your capital investment increase in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Compounded capital investment increase, increase, increase. Help is on the way. Mm. Receive increase now. Receive that increase now. In the name of Jesus, you are not permitted to drop. You are not permitted to fall. You are not permitted to akarabashonda by the agency of this word this morning. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that you will pursue. You will overtake. You will recover all. You will break all protocols. You will break all protocols because the one who helps you is with you. The one who helps you is with you. He is dealing with your adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to you, everything that has been allocated for you in this year 2023, take possession of it right now. As you type that amen well, type that amen well and receive it. Type it up, take that amen and receive your possessions. Father, I declare and I decree that everything that belongs to them, everything that they need, everything that you have allo allocated to them, why Whatever the devil has been hiding for them, Lord, they are receiving it right now in the name of Jesus. Unbelievable turnarounds are happening in this month of May in the name of Jesus Christ. It will happen in the next five days. In the next five days. Somebody see it. Are you seeing it? I'm seeing an unbelievable turnaround. Turn around, turn it out, turn around, turn around, turn around. It is happening for my good. In the name of Jesus, between now and the end of the year, every single hour, there shall be that drastic testimony. You walk in the grace and favor of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the next five days, ah, I declare a supernatural prophetic shift in the mighty name of Jesus, a supernatural shift of drastic, dramatic, drastic and dramatic dimensional testimonies are your portion in the name of Jesus. Type that amen well. Receive your goods. In the name of Jesus, I release the angels to go and collect your goods and make sure they arrive in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants to deny you in the name of Jesus, they shall be thwarted. They shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
am I doing for time? I only have like five minutes. Bring out those prayer points. Let us declare and decree together. Let us stand in agreement with you. Make sure you are typing that amen well. Make sure you are following the host. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. You need to go listen to this message today. And you, even if you need to play it seven times, if you are the kind that is a doubting Thomas, go and listen to it on YouTube. It will be there. Make sure you repeat it until it is part of your DNA and gene. Talk to me, somebody. I'm waiting for those prayer requests. I want to decree and declare so that we can close. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Haka, you are lifted. Help has, has arrived. In the name of Jesus, and I, I declare and I decree that you are delivered from the snare of the enemy. I decree and I declare that any altar that has been speaking against you, you are delivered from it in the name of Jesus Christ. I deliver you from every shrine where they have put your picture and spoken against your destiny and progress. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you, Lord, that your finances are being released. You will progress in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help has arrived. Oh, the help of God is here. Who is here? Then the help of God. Let me check on Facebook because it looks like Facebook, uh, TikTok is uh, still uh, um, thinking about it. Hallelujah. Herbert Masuku, I declare and I decree that you are a candidate of drastic miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord expand you where you have even been promoted already. I know you gave me the testimony on Sunday, but may the Lord expand your territory even more. May your businesses expand beyond what you have even projected in this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord open up the doors because he has seen your heart. He knows that the Lord, the, the Lord says, I know that you want to build my house. The Lord says, I know that you want to expand my house and, 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 and make sure that the church never lags. I will put money in your hands from, from places that you never expected. In the name of Jesus, who is here? It looks like Herbert, you are the more active in, in Facebook. Let me see. I'm waiting for more requests. Let me see. If I didn't see your prayer request, please bring it up again. Five minutes, we are closing. Thank you, Lord. The Lord has answered your prayers. And I, protocol breaking prayers have been answered. Then my Ben, I declare and I decree that help has arrived. Tangelani, thank you, Lord, for giving uh, for giving you a job. Hallelujah. Your help has arrived. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you for job for confidence. I thank you, Lord, your lean has receiving her job. In the name of Jesus, face Sam, thank you, Lord, for opening doors for his family, oh God. Let uh, uh, possibilities and opportunities open. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, that the mother of, of Ovi is, the healing is perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for Paul. We thank you for anarchy. Uh, we thank you for Zodwa. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. What is that visa request? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Anna, uh, Ananka, Bengele, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree your application will be expedited. Whatever monies you need to put down for that visa application, the Lord is sending the help for that. You will go where your heart desires. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I speak to the spirit of addiction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree you are delivered. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Whatever the Lord did not put in your body, Palisa. Whatever the Lord did not manufacture you for that addiction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree you are delivered from every single form of addiction. Receive the strength of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the resident anointing of God be inside of you. May you be convicted. May the Lord visit you heavily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for a heavy encounter in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for stable relationships. I declare and I decree that Godfrey will meet the right person that is destined to be his destiny partner. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, nobody will miss it. You will not marry the wrong person. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will choose well. May you grow in spiritual growth. Make sure you are coming back. I don't know if, if you don't have somebody who has been teaching you the word of God. I invite you. Free. You don't have to give me anything. Just go to my YouTube. Listen to all the messages. Go to Apostle Mara's YouTube. Listen to, grow spiritually. Grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. So that you can stand and you will be able to pray also for your children. Hallelujah. Mm. 
Hey, I like these prayers. Jane, we need a session. I said yesterday we are going to have a session uh, for relationships. We need to talk. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anybody who is in a relationship, I declare and I decree that your will be done, shall be done. If that person that they are with is not in your plan and is not in your will, Father, uproot them in the name of Jesus. Let them live. Even if you cry, if they live in the next five days, in this month of May, if they live, you know that God has confirmed it's not them. But if they stay, go ahead, charge forward. In the name of Jesus, Vicky, John, Daniel, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I declare that the help of God has come for him in the name of Jesus. Oh, Baka Shonda, did you see that? Moderator, they said there's a confirmation. I don't know where. Araba Shonda, Mr. Paka, Karaba Shonda. I don't know what the confirmation is, but I thank God if the Lord has used me to, to confirm that thing for you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you. Crinolia, you are blessed, you are lifted, you receive the help of God. Okay, now I need to sign out and say my goodbyes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is here. Maraba Sunda, Father, thank you for stability. I declare and I decree that there shall be financial stability in the Masubu family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Rabba Shonda, Yama Sunda, rebuke the devourer for thy sake, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has done it, Herbert. The Lord is rebuking the devourer for your sake. Hallelujah. You know what to do, right? Go and see, go and seek the scriptures. They will tell you exactly. You, there is a specific thing that you mother needs to do Rabbi Shonda, for the for the sake of confidentiality i don't want to say certain things even if the holy spirit shows me certain things i'm one person that i i unless i have the the, the release of the spirit of god to say it i cannot say it on this public platform but there are specific things that your mother needs to do let me just plug this in before we lose power on this laptop hallelujah Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I, I hope that you can decode it. Speak to Apostle and, and, and he will tell you what needs to actually happen in the name of Jesus. Okay, let's do that, please, my darlings, please. Let's do that. Otherwise, you can you can call me on WhatsApp. Let's talk about it. There are certain specific things you and your mother need to do specifically. Specifically. Where am I? Fire! Ah, thank you so much. Thank you, Fire. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May this ministry grow and may more testimonies abound in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Mbazma Wesley is receiving his job in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Sharon, for following. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing help uh, to, to Sharon. Miranda Koza, you are lifted. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Elizabeth, you are blessed. Yolene, you are blessed. Crinolia, you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your family cases. Kasho Katakadia. Asunder. Um, Crinolia, can you make sure that you follow Apostle Mara because I see you on Mara Official. Also follow me, Fortunel Online. Make sure you inbox me because we need to deal with those things. They are a bit more complicated. There's a bit of things that you need to go through. There's some teachings that I want to just send you completely free. We will send you the MP3s. You listen to them. I want you to soak in them before we do that deliverance. Is that okay? So certain things I can't do because of speed and, and what's happening. Hannah, good morning. You are blessed and you are lifted. Hallelujah. Who said good morning again? Giamfi, you are lifted and you are blessed. Hallelujah. Help has come. Somebody type the help of God in the comment section as we are signing out. How do you deal with the spirit of delay? Miranda, please do me a favor. Follow me and in my timeline on TikTok, there is also my link to my YouTube. There are at least two or three messages that deal with the spirit of delay and you will soak in it the same way. Please inbox me. I don't mind. If I need to talk to you via WhatsApp or via Via Zoom call, we will do it. I think I prefer even Zoom. If you are serious about your breakthrough and your deliverance, I'm not charging you. I'm here. I just want to serve. I, I thrive on testimonies. It's free. Okay? If the Lord uh, lays it in your heart to give be a blessing in my life financially, no problem. But it's free. Those of you, I don't like people who are in torment, but I like people who are serious about their deliverance, who are serious about their process. If you are really serious and you are really ready to put in the work, then I will then invest my time in you. But if you're going to waste time, I won't do it. So I believe, Miranda, if the pain, you know, if it gets to a point where the thing is paining you, where you know that you are just about to break, if you are serious, this yes. Inbox me. Um, on, on TikTok, inbox me on Instagram. I think I followed everybody that followed me, please. So that I don't follow people who are stalkers or anything or who are weird. If by after today, if you want to follow, if you, I think, um, um, Instagram and it enables me to get even messages quicker. I see them quicker. So follow me on, 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 on message on, on IG, sorry. Yeah. Instagram. 
I will follow you immediately. If you follow me between now and 12 o'clock, I'll follow everybody who follows me between now and 12 o'clock. And then I will see your messages and I will check on them. Otherwise, you also inbox me on uh, TikTok. I do check them. And if you are legitimate, I will accept your message and I will then start chatting to you. I don't stalk people. I don't want to stalk people. So let the approach come from you. And please be as detailed as possible. If you want a dream interpretation, please be as detailed as possible. Don't give me one-liners. Teresha, thank you so much. Good night. Thank you for coming in. Please make sure you follow me on tiktok and on youtube as well god bless you i'm also on um facebook but i don't want to confuse you and send you to too many places fortune l online on tiktok and on youtube the rest we find each other you will just find me hallelujah thank you so much my dear thank you so much everybody just make sure that um you you, you follow the host from whatever platform hallelujah um then okay all right um then we need to talk about your calling right Shakura basunda dia basanda dia basunda. Ah, shakatia. It's a bit complex. Dan, can you please inbox me? Because that calling tends to have a little bit of mixture with ancestral stuff. We need to deal with it. Okay, let's pray about it. If you have detail, if you don't have the settlement in this and and in your spirit about it, don't go for it, my babe. Don't go for it. Okay. Arabashunda. Thank you, M. Thank you so much. I see you. Nonsi Galela Gumanda. Thank you so much for following. Hey, sis Nonsi. Hey, you are here. Tinashe Kurisa. You are helped by God in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. YouTube and Facebook. Let me not hold you up. Let me sign out of a YouTube and Facebook. You can quickly jump on to TikTok. Come and find us on TikTok. We are just still saying goodbyes. We've got two minutes of, of TikTok goodbyes. So make sure you follow us there. Please subscribe. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like the video so that people can see it more and then people can also listen and be blessed and delivered amen hallelujah i love you so much god bless you go out and conquer remember you are moving with the help of god victory is, is a certainty amen